For decades, China has done many economic and construction miracles that have stunned the entire world. In order to facilitate its people, China has already created many buildings and construction projects that are hard to even imagine for engineers around the world. From Shanghai Tower to Beijing National Stadium to Zhengzhou East Railway Station, we have already seen these impossible tasks coming to life. But China doesn't seem to take a break because it looks like they are only starting. The hard work and creativity of Chinese people know no boundaries. And this upcoming project is evidence of it. China is building the longest high-speed undersea railway tunnel that will help its people a great deal in transport, trading, tourism and in many other ways. But what is this undersea tunnel? How will this be constructed? And the big question is, is it even possible? Let's dive into the world of engineering to find out about China's impossible mission to build the world's longest undersea tunnel. Before we talk about it, you should know that it is not the first undersea tunnel. Many similar projects have been successfully completed before. We have the Seiken Tunnel of Japan, which is also under the sea. Then, the famous Channel Tunnel, also known as the Euro Tunnel, connects certain parts of Europe. This one has parts that are under sea and some parts are on the ground. Similarly, the Öresund Tunnel connects Denmark and Sweden and the Seiken Tunnel connects South Korea with its islands. And finally, we have the Malaysian Smart Tunnel that has some of its parts under the sea. So, if many similar projects have already been completed many times before, why is there such a big hype about the Chinese undersea tunnel? And why do many believe this project is not realistically possible? Let's learn everything you need to know about this Chinese undersea tunnel. So, quickly like the video and subscribe to our channel before we move forward. Chinese engineers named this high-speed undersea railway tunnel the Jintang Undersea Tunnel. It is a part of the Ningbo Zhoushan Railway project that contains 36 bridges and 17 tunnels. The Jintang Undersea Tunnel is a $4 billion project and will connect Ningbo's Beilun district to Jintang town in Zhoushan. Normally, the distance between these two points is at least 40 to 50 kilometers. But the Jintang Tunnel will be 16.18 kilometers and will connect both regions. This tunnel will be 78 meters deep into the water from the surface of the East China Sea. Now, obviously, this is not the longest or the deepest undersea tunnel in the world as the Japanese and the European undersea tunnels are longer. However, all of them are not entirely undersea tunnels as their parts are above the ground as well. Also, these tunnels are only for conventional trains. But the Chinese Jintang Undersea Tunnel will be a high-speed railway tunnel that will of course require advanced engineering techniques and machines for completion. Also, for high-speed railways, this will be the longest undersea tunnel in the world. So, here is how they are making it possible. To build the Jintang Undersea Tunnel, workers are using big machines called Tunnel Boring Machines (TBMs) to dig through the ground beneath the seabed. These machines start digging from both ends of the tunnel route, moving towards the middle. A recently introduced boring machine, called Yongzhou, is big and efficient enough it has given a boost to the process. As these boring machines dig, they create a hole for the tunnel while also adding walls to support it. The specialized shield machines are used for this purpose. These machines not only dig, but also support the walls with their shield until it is being fixed with concrete, then the shield machine moves forward to digging further. This digging process is called the shield boring method and which is carefully monitored currently by the engineers to make sure everything is going according to plan. As the tunnel boring machines get closer to each other, preparations are being made for the next step. Engineers are keeping a close eye on the progress of the machines to make sure they're on track to meet at the right spot. They are also making any adjustments needed to ensure the tunnel sections will fit together perfectly. When the tunnel boring machines reach the meeting point, it will be time to connect the tunnel sections. Special equipment will be used to carefully position the machines and line up the tunnel sections. Engineers will watch closely to make sure everything fits together just right. Many advanced equipment like hydraulic jacks, surveying instruments and robotic arms are being used for this purpose. Once the sections are in place, they will be securely joined to create one long tunnel beneath the seabed. With the tunnel connected and strengthened, it will be time for the finishing touches. 
lights, ventilation systems, and safety features will be installed inside the tunnel to ensure it's safe and easy to use. Final tests will be done to make sure everything is working properly before the tunnel is opened for people to use. Once the tunnel is finished, a high-speed railway will be built under it. People will be able to travel between Jinteng Island and Sezi Island more easily thanks to the new tunnel. And to make sure the tunnel stays safe and in good condition, regular maintenance checks will be done to keep everything running smoothly. For Lingding Yang Bridge, developed in Hong Kong, China used a different method called Immersed Tube Tunnel Method. In this method, they brought built-in sections of the tunnel and placed them exactly on the spot for the tunnel one by one. After all the sections come in place, they fix them together and seal them completely. This is a modern method but is not possible for the Jintang Undersea Tunnel because of its size and depth. That's why Chinese engineers preferred the boring method which may be slow but still a reliable method for durable construction. Similarly, there are some other innovative methods for undersea tunnels such as the cut and cover method where they dig trenches on the seabed. Similarly, the drill and blast method means it drills a hole and then puts explosives in the hole. But none of these methods are as suitable as the shield boring method considering the sheer size of this undersea tunnel project. Thus, Chinese engineers are continuing the construction of this tunnel using this method. What do you think about this approach of Chinese engineers? Let us know in the comment section. Now, one may think, is it even safe to build an undersea railway tunnel? What about the high pressure of water or how will it survive the earthquakes? Well, the Jintang Undersea Tunnel is being constructed with innovative techniques to endure challenges like water pressure and earthquakes. After they dig a part of the tunnel, it is being covered with the water-resistant and strong concrete to protect it from water pressure. Also, they are adding a water drainage system everywhere to remove it, even if a small quantity of water enters inside somehow. But still, it is a challenge for Chinese engineers because the depth of this tunnel will be 79 meters. At this depth, the pressure of water is more than 1 MPa. So far, China has not developed a bridge that can withstand that high pressure. Even the Hong Kong Bridge can only withstand a pressure of 0.7 MPa. But the way Chinese engineers are working on it, it looks like they have already found a way to tackle the pressure of water. For the earthquakes, engineers are installing seismic isolation systems to absorb and mitigate earthquake forces, reducing stress on the tunnel structure. So, if you are planning to experience this underwater railway experience, you should know that it will be perfectly safe from natural disasters. So, why China is doing all this? I mean, why go through all this effort and spend $4 billion on this project? Is it even worth it? Well, of course, the Jintang Undersea Tunnel brings tons of advantages for the Chinese economy. Firstly, according to a study in 2020, China's annual revenue coming from its railway system was $378 billion. And this number has only increased in recent years. So, building an undersea tunnel will only boost their railway economy significantly. Now, let's talk about the aspect of transportation. After the tunnel is functional, people will be able to move from Ningbo's Bailun district to Jintang town in Zhoushan in barely 30 minutes, which is one three the time it takes to travel from the current route. Not just the locals, but it will be a great option for the tourists as well. Since Zhoushan Islands are famous for their tourist attractions, so it will be an effort-free hassle for the people who love to travel fast. But most importantly, it will enhance the trading between these two provinces and nearby regions. Transporting goods will be easier than ever. This train will be so fast, people from Ningo will be able to travel to Zhoushan, sell their products and go back to their homes every day. Not just that, the creation of this undersea tunnel will help China create thousands of new jobs for its citizens in the sectors of tourism, construction, trading and more. Sure, the Jintang Undersea Railway Tunnel is a domestic project, specifically for the people of China. However, its impact will also expand to nearby regions, especially Southeast Asia and Europe. This tunnel will become a faster and more effective route for exports. Also, the port of Zhushan will get a boost because of this undersea railway tunnel.
Most importantly, the construction of the Jintang High Speed Undersea Railway Tunnel will open doors for a faster and brighter future, not only for the Chinese, but also for the rest of the world. Chinese have already proved nothing is impossible when humans set their minds to it. They continue to move forward as the other nations learn from them and follow in their footsteps. This undersea tunnel will also act as a bridge for the construction of many more undersea tunnels to build in the future. By thinking about what's right and taking care of nature, we're making sure these projects are good for everyone. Looking ahead, let's stay focused on making the world safer and more connected for everyone in the future. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, share your insights on this miraculous undersea railway tunnel. We will see you in the next video.